Hi and welcome to Miss Riley's Maths videos with Miss Riley and Black Panther. So, oh there you can see him better there. So what I'm doing is I'm working through week two of my Form 1 Algebra booklet and if you haven't done the booklet yet, don't watch the video yet. And if you haven't got the booklet because you're watching this at a later date, then I'm going to just show you the, the question sheet before we launch into the solutions. So week two is what we're doing. So here's the question sheet. You can pause it and answer those. And then this is the second half. Pause it and answer those. Now, when you're watching this video, pause it at any stage, especially if you just needed a hint. Get the hint, try the question yourself, and then look at the solutions after you've finished. Okay, so this is most beneficial if you've already tried the questions. Okay, okay, so let's go. Simplify. Look last week, simplify just means add together what can go together. 2b and 5b and 4b can all go together because they're all the same kind of thing. So 2 and 5 is 7 and 4 is 11, 11b. Simplify again. P's can go together and Q's can go together. P's and Q's, that's funny. 2p minus 3p is minus p. Minus 4q plus 2q is minus 2q. Simplify 14x. So put together again the things that go together. The x's will go together, the y's will go together, and the numbers will go together. So 14x minus 10x is 4x. 5y minus 3y is plus 2y. Minus 3 plus 11 is plus 8. Now here we have all the same letter, but some are different powers. So remember when we're adding and subtracting in algebra, the powers have to be the same as well as the letters. So the x squareds will go together. The x's will go together and the numbers will go together. So 5x squared minus 4x squared is 4x squared. Minus 5x plus 2x is minus 3x. Plus 1 minus 6 is minus 5. If x equals 2 and y equals 1 and z equals minus 5, find the value of 3x plus 4y. So 3x plus 4y is 3 times 2. So when I write 3 by 2 like that, I mean 3 times 2. Okay? 3 by 2 plus 4 by y is 4 by 1. So wherever I had an x, I put 2. Wherever I had a y, I put 1. And 3x means 3 multiplied by x. So 3 by 2 is 6. 4 by 1 is 4. So that's 6 plus 4, which is 10. 5 by 2y plus z. So 2 by 1 plus minus 5. So I'm going to do what's in the bracket before I multiply by the 5. I'm going to finish all this off here before I multiply by this 5. So 5 by 2 by 1 is 2 minus 5. So 5 by minus 3, which is minus 15, negative 15. 5x squared means 5 multiplied by x squared and you've got to do this first before you multiply by the 5 really important this is a mistake lots of people make it's not 5x it's not that okay that's wrong it's 5 multiplied by whatever x squared is okay so 5x squared means 5 multiplied by 2 squared so that means I square the 2 first, which is 4, so 5 by 4, which is 20. Simplify by multiplying the terms together. So I've got a minus 3, and then I have y by y squared by y squared. Remember that y has kind of got a little 1 up there. So 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5. So y th minus 3y to the power of 5. Simplify by expanding the brackets and collecting the like terms together. That might just say simplify in future. It might not say by multiply expanding the brackets and collecting like terms together. So just get used to it. When you see brackets, you need to multiply out. So 2 by a is 2a. 2 by minus 4 is minus 8. 4 by 3a is 12a. 4 by 2 is 8. So I've got 2a plus 12a is 14a. Minus 8 plus 8. Minus 8 plus 8 is 0. And I don't have to write that in, of course. So it's just 14a. Simplify by expanding the brackets and collecting the like terms together. Now remember, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can do it by just tracing. Everything in this has to multiply by everything in this. So the x has to multiply by the x, which is x squared. The x has to multiply by the 3, which is 3x. The 10 has to multiply by the x, which is 10x. And the 10 has to multiply by the 3, which is 30. So I get x squared plus 13x plus 30. This can't add to anything else, this can't add to anything else, but these two can add together. Or you might prefer to do an array. 
So let's just set it up. X plus 10 and then X plus 3. So X by X is X squared. X by 3 is 3X. 10 by X is 10X. 10 by 3 is 30. So again, X squared, these two go together. So plus 13X plus 30. Solve the, each equation to find the value of x. So in this case, it's a actually. <laughs> so 3a plus 7 equals 34. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides because I want a's on one side and numbers on the other. So 3a is equal to 27. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. a is equal to 9. 7x minus 3 is equal to 5x plus 1. Remember, x is on one side, numbers on the other. I'm going to add 3 to both sides, first of all, 7x, remember that means these cancel out, is equal to 5x, 1 and 3 is 4, and then subtract 5x from each side, because I want x is only on this side, so 2x is equal, they've cancelled out, plus 4, now I want to find out 1x is, 2x is 4, so 1x is 2. Okay, I hope that's useful, watch back over it if you have any questions. Look at it once or twice on the bit that you're stuck on and then come in and talk to me if you need to. Bye.